Let's start with the biggest story. There is the old adage, survive or die in college football expansion and college sports expansion. Right now, the adage is expand or die. And that is what the Big 12 tried to do poaching Arizona, Arizona State, and Utah from the Pac-12, which, by the way, maybe did pretty soon. Yeah. Drake Toll from Locked On Big 12 joins me now, our new host of Locked On Big 12. And, and Drake, uh, this is one of those interesting moves for uh, expansion where it actually geographically makes some sense, like, mm. like some sense here. How do you think the fit is for these three schools? Well, the Big 12 is now a, a, almost a coast-to-coast -coast league. It's at least an east-to-west league when you have West Virginia on the east coast. And now you have teams like Arizona coming in, these four corner schools with Utah and Colorado as well. This has been a long time coming. We thought at one point the Pac-12 could scrounge everybody together and these these mighty teams could do what the Big 12 did two years ago and keep things afloat. But, but they just couldn't. The Titanic sunk. And the Big 12 started casting out lifeboats. They didn't give one to everybody, but they gave one to the teams that that belong, right? It, it feels like Utah and BYU, that rivalry is renewed. It feels like Arizona and Arizona State have that, especially with BYU being here, that place in the Big 12. And, and then there is the conversation of Colorado, which was already here, and we have quickly forgiven them for leaving. And they bring you Deion Sanders. A year ago, this is a much worse move with Colorado. But now, I watched an ESPN promo for college football season coming up. Three shots of Deion Sanders in that promo in a minute and a half because he's the biggest show in the Big 12, and I don't mind that. And so now, I think that raises the question with other teams. I mean, the Big 10, they're the Big 18 now. So yeah. if, you're, if you're the Big 12 and now you've added some of these schools, that gives you credibility. And there are going to be other schools at other conferences going, hey, wait, that seems like a good place for us to be. Do you think yeah. this is the end of all of this? And if not, where do you think they look next? Well, first and foremost, with that point, Oklahoma and Texas are kicking themselves. They're at least yeah. thinking about, wow, what a time to leave the Big 12. It looks great a couple of years ago. And now we're going to go get kicked in the SEC when we could be beating teams like Arizona and Arizona State who have struggled so mightily in football recently. So that's the first point I think of or the two that left. See you guys later. And then when it comes to further expansion, you're going to have to stop at some point because you've got 16 forces, eight of them brand new. If I've got a city council, a board of regents, anything that is making a decision and eight, eight people of 16 are brand new, if half of my staff making calls are brand new, not usually a good thing. You're going to get, you're going to get bite off more than you can chew get a little bit into in a little bit too deep if you keep going here. So you stop, you stop at 16. You do not. Uh, I know I mentioned life ravs, but you're, you're a business first. You're a business before you're a, a charity. So you don't go after Oregon state. You don't call Stanford, maybe a UConn in basketball, Gonzaga in basketball to supplement for where some of these new teams lack. However, 16 is the cutoff. And at 18, I'd, I think I'd get worried. I asked this yesterday when we were talking with our Big Ten and, and Pac-12 hosts about this idea of, okay, what if I start getting opportunities to add some premium schools? Does that mm -hmm. start putting some of my maybe lower end schools in terms of in terms of prestige, in terms of that blue blood appeal? Does that start putting them at risk? Is there a point where you could see, let's say there's just three conferences. It's just the SEC, the Big Ten, yeah. and the Big 12, however they rebrand, because let's be honest, they're going to need to be a rebrand at some point where you think the Big 12 looks around and goes, I don't know, maybe some of these, these lower level schools, like if we could add a Florida State, if we could add, you know, let's say the ACC starts to get a little desperate, like we could add a Clemson. Does, does that start to put some of these lower rank, rung schools at risk? That's a trim the fat conversation and we'll have it the entire it's season and all through expansion and it will never take place. A conference like the SEC will never kick out Vanderbilt. The Big Ten will never kick out Rutgers. They could be the doormat in every sport. But once you pick them up, it's so tough to say, hey, look, ESPN. Hey, look, Fox. We have signed XTV deal. N now we're, we're kicking somebody off. Even if that team's not bringing you a lot of revenue, you've, you've already made the decision to bring them on. There won't be a point where the Big 12 trims any of the fat. And, and I, I think, I really do, the Big 12 is the most complete conference in college athletics because there is not any fat to trim. There is not a bottom dweller in this league. We don't have a Rutgers. We don't have a Vanderbilt. And I love that.
Stay up to date all year on the Big 12 by subscribing to Locked On Sports today and Locked On Big 12 on your favorite podcast app and on YouTube.